it seems that I have not been clear enough. Then let me leave no doubt about my feelings regarding Mr. Chamberlain's future as Prime Minister. For the right honourable gentleman, inactivity and incompetence, we find him personally responsible, personally responsible for leaving this nation ruinously unprepared to face the present Nazi peril. We are at war, Mr. Speaker at war, and leaving aside whether he is fit to be a leader in peacetime, he has proved himself incapable of leading us in wartime! I said order! Therefore, in the national interest, we, the opposition, are willing to enter into a grand coalition with the ruling Conservative Party, so-called, but not, and I stress, never under the leadership of Mr. Chamberlain, who has lost the confidence of this house. In the country's interest, man, resign, step down, and let us find a new leader. Where's Winston? Ensuring his fingerprints are not on the murder weapon. Order! As the opposition refuse to join any government headed by me, we must now select my successor, someone with new strength to form a coalition government. I will step down tomorrow, but uh, I did want my own party, the gentleman I most respect, to know first. Yes. It must be Halifax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. There's no question. Our foreign secretary. Halifax? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No contest. Halifax. Thank you, gentlemen. I appreciate your confidence in me. However, my time has not yet come. Then who? But on whomever the task may fall, he shall be required to explore every avenue. Including that of diplomatic talks. Indeed. Towards the restoration of peace in Europe. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, gentlemen, there is only one candidate, only one man the opposition will accept. Oh, no. Oh, sure. God, it becomes no, that's shocking. No, no. No, no. no, no this no. is totally absurd. <laughs> And if he stretches out his hand and says, gimme, you need to anticipate what he wants. Black pen, red pen, paper or clop. That's his whole punch. How selfish to resign time like this. Do you think they'll take me to Downing Street if he gets the job? Not after that spotted dick you served last week, eh? He mumbles. So it's almost impossible to catch everything. Be prepared to type fast. Short bursts and double spaced. He hates single spaced. He hates it. Good luck. To the French ambassador. <coughs> With German forces <coughs> crossing into Holland, Ho Holland alone. Come on, telegram. Holland alone <coughs> requests reassurance that French forces will now move, uh, move at once. 
uh, into uh, to protect Belgium. Stop. French ambassador, sir. <coughs> Monsieur the ambassador. Oh. Oh. They've uh, already invaded Belgium. Holland and Belgium. Uh, I, I will convey your plea to the Prime Minister at once. Uh, yes, uh, the situation is uh, still very confused. <coughs> yes. Uh, goodbye. To the French ambassador. Do no, scrap that. Uh, new telling here. Uh, to General Ismay. It, uh, what is it now? Your son. Randolph, quickly. Uh, no, last night they said I might be made Prime Minister today, but that, that was yesterday. Let's see what happens today. Yeah? Let's see what, uh, let's see what Neville does today. <laughs> yes. No, thank you, my boy. Yes. Um, <laughs> yes, keep buggering on. Um, uh, uh, no, I would. To General Ismay. Ah, General Ismay. Yeah, uh, sorry. Oh, you did this for you. <laughs> to General Ismay. In uh, light of today's events, the time is uh, ripe for uh, many preparations to be. Are you uh, uh, striking those keys in a normal fashion? It's awfully loud. I can't, I can't hear myself think. Read it back. <clears throat> uh, to General Ismay, in the light of today's events, <coughs> the time is right. Right! Not right! God's teeth, girl! I said right, right, right! Ha, ha, ha. Last sentence! Uh, the time is ripe. Four. Four? Four? Many, 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 many. Many, 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 many. How many, many did you write, you nincompoop? One, many, four. Four? Four. Many, many preparations, preparations to be made. <coughs> Single space. Single space! Were you not brief, young lady? Single space? Someone says it on single space. And now then why did you persist? <laughs> well, I don't... Oh, God damn to tell heavens to send me someone who can get it right <laughs> the first time! Go on! Up! Right! Ta -ta -ta. He shouted at you. Did he shout at you? No. He can be an awful brute! I'm, I made too many mistakes. I think you were nervous, and he has a knack for drawing out the very worst of those who are trying to help him the most. No, no, it's not, it's not him, it's me. He's, he's... He's a man, like any other. Come on. Dearest? Uh, the, the war cabinet's been called bloody cats under the bed again. My darling, Thank you. may I tell you something I feel you really ought to know? I have noticed a recent deterioration in your manner. You're not as kind as you used to be. You've become rough and sarcastic and overbearing and rude. Uh, is this about the new girl? If the king does ask you to become prime minister... We don't know that for sure. I don't want you to be disliked. <laughs> More than I already am. Oh, my darling, you are on the brink of having tremendous power, surpassed only by that of the king. And with such power, you really must try and be more kind. And if possible, calm. <laughs> I want others to love and respect you, as I do.